Sherman will collect it at the 10 yard line. Sherman with a nice cut. Sherman to the 30, 35, watch out. Lafayette's rush, Sherman will not get caught. He'll go 90 yards. Ross Sherman picking up where he left off last year when he was second in the league in kickoff return average. Unfortunately, they lost to Sacred Heart 27-14. Elsewhere, Lehigh quarterback Nick Shifniski earned Offensive Player of the Week honors for his efforts against James Madison. John Zachevsky from Holy Cross is the Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in the Crusaders' win over Morgan State. And Bucknell's Doug Whitlock was named the Rookie of the Week. And with that, we welcome you inside the Patriot League. I am Ray Crawford, and joining us this week to offer his perspective on the football season thus far, our Lafayette insider Gary Laubach. And Gary, uh, Leopards coach Frank Devani had this to say after Saturday's loss, quote, I don't say this very often, but we beat ourselves, literally, which really makes it frustrating because we need to play a lot better and do a lot of things better. So where does this team need to focus to improve? Well, they certainly need to have better uh, offensive line play for sure. The offensive line did not give Drew Reed a lot of time to throw the football on Saturday, and they did struggle with the running game on Saturday. And more importantly, so many false start penalties, and there were a few bad snaps from center, and all of those seemed to be uh, really a detriment to their offensive attack. So it seems like it has become a, a Sunday tradition there in Easton that win or lose, Coach Tavani brings donuts to the guys getting treatment in the training room on Sundays. Uh, this week he got six dozen. That's a lot of donuts. Are, are they that banged up or are there just a couple of guys that are really hungry? Well, it's a good news, bad news situation. The more he buys, obviously, the more people who are coming to the training room. That's the bad news. The good news is the donuts are absolutely delicious. So even I, after a ball game, have maybe stubbed a toe just so I could get in there on Sunday to eat the donuts that Easton Baking Company uh, has. They are absolutely loved here in the Easton area. A uh, local favorite. You can't beat that. And I'm sure Coach is going to uh, work off those carbs here this week. Uh, the Leopards next host Robert Morris in the home opener this Saturday. What's the biggest challenge as they get ready to face the Colonials? Well, as, I, as I'm talking to you now, I'm not quite sure about the injury situation at running back. Ross Sherman had a hip pointer in the ball game and was taken out in the second half, replaced by Kyle Mayfield, who had a leg injury, and they were down to a freshman running back by the end of the ball game. So that's certainly an obstacle they're going to have to overcome, and hopefully those guys will be available. The other thing I think they have to do is to avoid mental mistakes. They made too many of them in game one. You sort of expect that. They could not overcome that for a victory on Saturday. And I think they've got to create some turnovers. Robert Morris is a young football team. I think you have to make them make mistakes. Great keys to victory. Gary, thanks for the insight and enjoy the game Saturday. Always a pleasure. Good talking to you. Another busy game day on the Patriot League Network, powered by Campus Insiders. Saturday at 1 o'clock, Holy Cross will go for their second straight win when they host Central Connecticut at 1. Then at 2, Fordham will try and get back in the win column when they host Rhode Island. Then at 3, it's the Lepers and Colonials from Easton, PA. I'm Ray Crawford. We'll see you again next week as we go inside the Patriot League.